it is important to understand how shaitan gets to us. Of course, the main tactic of shaitan is waswasa, and that is to whisper. And the waswasa of shaitan, it is to implant in our hearts an idea that should not be there. And this is a very, very evil tactic. Think about it. Our hearts are pure. We don't want to disobey Allah. Our hearts have been created to worship Allah. We want to pray, we want to enjoy religiosity, but shaitan comes and he throws something into our heart and he causes us to think about something we never thought about doing and he continues to persist in trying to push us to commit a sin. How evil is that? We won't even want to commit the sin. And this is generally the case, my dear brothers and sisters, when an evil thought comes and the thought even surprises us, like where did that come from? How, is, how am I thinking this? A'udhu billah. You yourself are disgusted by what you think you are thinking, but you think you are thinking it. It is not you who is thinking. It is shaitan who threw it into you. And that is why the existence of shaitan actually makes us realize that alhamdulillah, our hearts inshallah generally they're pure. And so we blame shaitan for the bulk of our evil. Isn't this a wisdom from Allah? When Yusuf alayhi salam, what happened happened and he was saved at the end. What did he say? مِن بَعْدِ أَنَّزَغَ الشَّيْطَانُ بَيْنِي وَبَيْنَ إِخْوَتِي It was shaitan who caused my brothers to do what they did. What a beautiful wisdom. And Ibn Qayyim mentions this, that we blame shaitan for the evil. It's not my brother who did this. Shaitan caused him to do it. What a beautiful tactic that you blame shaitan because he's worthy of being blamed. He is the one who did it. Then your anger is not at your Muslim brother. Your anger is not at somebody who did something. It's at shaitan who whispered them, who did the waswasa. And so because of that, your hearts can be pure towards your Muslim brothers and sisters and you can blame shaitan. Oh, shaitan caused them to say that. Shaitan caused them to slip. Shaitan caused them to backbite. They wouldn't do it otherwise. And in fact, most of the time, this is the case. And that is why it is of the greatest wisdoms of shaitan that uh, of the existence of shaitan that we blame him for the evil and not mankind and of course of the tactics of shaitan which really is uh, shown in our current situation in the world today look at the global situation look at the domestic situation of the most deadly tactics of shaitan is to break up the muslim ummah and to cause disunity. Inna shaytana yanzaghu baynahum. Shaytan causes them to break up. Shaytan causes disunity. Our Prophet sallallahu said that unity is from Allah and furqa or ikhtilaf is from shaytan. Allah azza wa jal is mu'allif al-qulub. He brings hearts together. Unity comes from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And it is shaytan who breaks people up. And this is of his most dangerous tactics because as our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said that the wolf only attacks the lone sheep and when there's a group of sheep the wolf does not attack and the reference here is to us being broken up and we see the current situation without getting into the politics but you know what is going on across the world I'm not speaking of any one area I'm speaking of the entire ummah how much we have been divided Muslims here Muslims there an artificial imaginary boundary that because of this they are at war because of this, what is happening. And in reality, shaitan is reveling. Allah Azza wa Jalla is the one who combines. Shaitan is the one who breaks up. Of the most important ways to protect ourselves from, from shaitan is to develop ikhlas in our hearts, to develop sincerity in our hearts. The single most effective tool to protect ourselves from shaitan is to have sincerity. And we develop sincerity by continually doing acts of worship away from the eyes of men. Quran, dhikr, salah, charity, and nobody sees other than Allah. Sincerity is developed. And in the Quran, shaitan himself says that I'm going to cause all of them to go astray. Except for your servants who have ikhlas.